Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Air Today Throws Nation. In today's video, we're gonna go through the glide. We're gonna go through a quick crash course, about a six, seven minute clip from one of our free webinars. If you've missed out on those, check the link below in the description, sign up for the next one. We're always trying to put out some good quality info to help you guys get better direction and learn how to get better faster. So she was really pulling the kick like way up and see how the shot's back, the legs are more into the throw, hips are more in. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Okay, I'll just pull up this video, and I think I showed this on our kind of our last one of our webinars. There's an example of kick leg. Boom. See how that kick leg pulls up? This was the before on this athlete. Okay, so that is going to cause a whole bunch of problems. So this was this is a heptathlete, Canadian um, U20 athlete. She came down to Arizona for some training. Again, this is what she was doing. And so this is what we switched it to. And again, this is a perfect example. You're going to notice I don't have her super coiled. Now she's a really good, I mean, she's a really talented heptathlete and she's a, just a really talented athlete. You can see, should we start her taller and we do a pull up and that's what we teach. The pillar one, two really avoids for a lot of you guys posting comments, like, you know, you're, you're seeing athletes that have a difficult time getting loaded up and creating the line, they're probably trying to push themselves out of their, their uh, strength capabilities. And while this athlete was really quick and explosive um, and actually strong, we still didn't have her with a super low dynamic position. So you can see she, this enabled her to get into a better position. So I think I do the comparison. So right here, you can see, here's the difference. You see how we're changing the line by keeping the kick leg and teaching the athlete. This is again, one of our drills, we call it a pull up. We're trying to teach an athlete how to pull the kick leg and pull the hips up into this position, if that makes sense. What we're trying to do is see the athlete, the hips have to come up. So you're gonna see what we did is we changed the pillar two. So we changed the hip alignment. So notice how she has a more bend here, but this kick leg is gonna cause her to drop into the throw too early. Whereas this, we were allowing her to be able to get a more dynamic kick leg extension because it's not pulled up as far. So she was really pulling the kick leg way up, had learned to just make it a, a dominant kick leg side. And so what we were trying to say is, this is how we change that position. And so you can see, once she's here, you can see how we're gonna be able to, she's gonna get a lot more extension. So watch when she goes, she's gonna push. Now she was pushing off of her heel correctly here because she was falling. And here she started to push a little more off her toe. Long story short, month or so after this, she PR'd about a meter on her glide. And so she, which she was pretty happy about. So you can see again, how this allows the athlete to stay more on to, on the right leg longer, engage the block and get more delivery. You can see how the shots back, the legs are more into the throw, hips are more in. That's all because of that pillar two.